Hi, welcome to Team Wool Sheep Reviews. Now, Armatan got quite a good reputation, um, lifetime guarantees, etc. etc. Now, they've introduced a light frame with no lifetime warranty. Uh, this is the Armatan Mongoose. As per all of Armatan's frames, it, it will be durable and well made. It's a 3mm armed frame. <sighs> Shock horror, everybody says, oh my god, you need at least 6mm if you're going to fly on a racetrack. Really? So, I thought I'd give it a try. I built the Armatan Mongoose, and I must say, it's not the lightest frame. There's a lot lighter frames out there. It is very low profile. As you can see, it's very low decked but it flies really nice. Is it the frame that makes it fly nice? Or your flight controller motors and the setup? I particularly like this design. It's slight stretch design. So it's a slightly stretched frame. So this is the Armatan Mongoose. That doesn't come with it obviously. So it's a very low deck frame. I've gone with the Joshua Bardwell V2 board which I found to be very good. Very simple, straightforward. I've configured it with a Matek VTX and I've used the Smart Audio. So really, it's only one level, plus then the, the Matek board mounted on top. You ain't getting much more in there. I've got a very small receiver, which is so small, I don't even know where it is. It's actually in the, in the front section there. I put a little plate there and it's actually mounted underneath. In the front is a, an RXSR FR Sky receiver. It is small. I've got a couple of ESC protectors, which is a must these days, these things spinning fast. A set of T-Motor F40 motors spinning at 2400 kV. A very nice, well-made carbon frame, especially like the the camera mounts on the front, they're machined aluminium post with camera lugs on it. But it only takes the micro size cameras. It only takes the micro size cameras, which is, it's okay. But they're not the best cameras, are they? This is okay, I've got the Foxia camera in there. It's nice with it, I suppose, but not as good as my run cam Swifts. But having said that, it's a small lightweight frame. Now, antenna mounting. As you can see, the antenna is, is just protruding out the backside there. Out of harm's way, nothing's gonna hit that. Any impacts, I, I was conscious I wanted out of the way. And what I've done is, is that's the MMCX antenna connection, which I've hot glued in. And you can just see it on the side there. It's hot glued on, there's, that it can't come off. And I've gone with the Luminaire Axie with the MMCX pigtail already on it because I struggled. I didn't want an antenna sticking out because these blades, as you can see, there's not a lot of gap and you have an aerial sticking out there. You have a little incident, you turtle mode, but your aerial's getting chopped to pieces. Not good. So I've gone with that aerial in that position, use the little pigtail. So if you're interested in making one of these, this is the setup that I found the best so far. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to get things in there. So I brought my my connection for the XT60 out the back there. I should have maybe made it a little bit longer. I wanted to keep it short because this you've got to try and hold it and plug it in. But uh, no, and Kevlar strap. Straps, anybody short of straps? I go through a lot of straps with this type design, type of frame. So over the years I've been getting free straps, mostly from Hobby RC. <laughs> but I've got quite a few straps. So I've gone with Kevlar. The only thing I've had with Kevlar is the Velcro starts to fail. So this is not as grippy anymore. So a suggestion was made, super glue, a new bit of Velcro on. And strap lives to fight another day. Kevlar is bomb proof. You don't break them. Metal buckled Kevlar strap. That is the Armatan Mongoose frame. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I, I quite like it. 
tight build, not for beginners, you're gonna struggle. Like I said, be mindful. I've looked at lots of videos before I purchased this and wasn't sure which way I was going to go. But after building it, I like the way everything sits. I can mount the battery on the top or the bottom. That is a choice you don't often get. Without that, there's a rubber, rubber piece on the top. So the battery can go top or bottom depending on how you want to fly. Some freestylers like to have the battery on the top. So you've got an opportunity to do both. It's quite a versatile frame, not for everybody, but this is the Armaton Mongoose. No lifetime warranty. So you break it, you're buying bits. They are removable arms, so it's not a problem. So would I buy another one? If I broke it, I would be repairing it and I will keep flying this frame. Very handy having the camera mount on the top which is what I've missed for a long time. Would I recommend it? Yes. Would I recommend the Joshua Bardwell Flight Controller V2? Absa friggin lootly. Absolutely awesome flight controller. Works really well. The Matek VTX, is the new version of it, is very very good. Works on smart audio. Oh, a point to mention. When you're setting up the smart audio with the Matek boards, then you need to set it in your in your port settings as the Tramp VTX, the Tramp protocol. There is a TBS smart audio, it don't work. It has to be the Tramp. So save time, take a tip. When you're setting up smart audio, set it up as Tramp. Obviously make sure you've got it on the right UART, otherwise you'll be there for ages. That's my setup. I'll take some photographs and I'll put them uh, after this as a little slideshow so you can see a close up of how I built the Armitan Mongoose. That is the Armitan Mongoose. Go buy one and build it. Thank you very much for watching.